Hi Pisces, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing to the channel. It's much appreciated. Please continue to do so. Um, all right, so Pisces off camera, what I got for you was um or yeah, so or is for some of you. Some of you could be changing your mind about the, the direction you know, that you're going, you might want to return to someone, have the courage to either return to someone and apologize, or you feel like a debt needs to be repaid, whether it's a, you know, physical monetary debt, or it is um, just an energetic debt, like I'm indebted to you because you were so great to me or whatever. Also, you may be thinking about having visitors in your home um, or someone living with you or someone moving out, but there's some family change here. It says sleep on it, whatever it, that's about. Um, sleep on it, think about it before you make some snap judgment. It's, someone wants to come back to you or you today, you know? So anyway, let's get into it. All right, so for this week for Pisces, what's going on for Pisces? The Queen of Cups, yes. Um, all right, so let's just keep going. The advice for you this week is what's the advice for Pisces? The Fool card, very nice. And the outcome, if you take the advice of the cards, if you take the advice of the cards, what is the outcome? If Pisces takes the advice of the cards, all right, we got the Seven of Swords. Interesting. Um. Okay, the bottom of the deck, the Knight of Cups. All right, so um, all right, so your week starts off where um, it starts off pretty emotional, and you're trying to remain emotionally stable here. So, so you're 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 taking on a lot of energy, maybe even speaking with a lot of different people. And maybe their circumstances can destabilize you if you allow it. But it seems as if you are just taking on that energy and you're kind of being a sounding board uh, emotionally for some people. You know, listening to your friends or your family vent. Um, but really not allowing those issues to kind of destabilize. Excuse me. To destabilize. Excuse me. Somebody you can't even talk. You're not allowing that energy to destabilize you in terms of, I'm not going to let it get to me to where it frustrates me. So you may be coming off kind of emotionally, um, you may aloof, you're, um, you're not that vested because you understand that um, if you um, are too invested, um, it'll kind of upset you. You don't need the emotional upset, so you kind of, in, in, a, in a sense, energetically, uh, emotionally standoffish. And just trying to remain peaceful. And pe look, she's got her sounding bowl and you're being a sounding board, maybe an emotional sounding board for, for other people, giving good advice, um, maybe even receiving uh, spiritual messages uh, from the divine that help you guide others. Uh, maybe even receiving an invite or giving the invitation of um, being invited somewhere to uh, have a good time. Uh, someone may want to give something to you, um, a gesture of, of their love, of their devotion. The advice here for you this week is to be like the fool. Um, start over, start off, get in the game, um, throw caution to the wind somewhat. So for some of you, it could be making a cap with these two cards together, the fool and the seven of swords. This is about taking a calculated risk. Oh, my nails. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go handle that tomorrow. Um, so for some of you, it's about making a calculated or, or taking a calculated risk uh, because um, the advice also may don't be too foolish or don't jump off the, the deep end just yet. Because there might be some information 
that could be hidden from you. There could be an air of deception or trickery. Um, these plans that you might make, they, they might uh, need to be revised. Um, so it says, you know, don't, don't go in head first, you know, wh whatever this is. Very interesting. Um, let's see what this could be about. Uh, it says you're in a good place, but don't allow for you know other people's circumstances to to destabilize you. You're still so the queens are the doers of the of the tarot, so you're still actively. Uh, maintaining, cultivating an air of emotional stability. So you're still doing that. You aren't at the king status yet where you just balance and you just do it, you know, automatically. You're still still working on remaining, you know, emotionally balanced. So don't let anybody else's energy destabilize you. If you have to think about um, a decision, take some time and think about it. Uh, it says get some rest. Yeah, get some rest here. Uh, okay, so this one to pop out. Relationship dynamics. Maybe starting a new business or changing career paths. Um, or just concerned about retirement if you are retirement age. Um, do I have enough money? Will I have enough money? How long will it last? Um, it says be true to you. Also, there might be you need to have some dietary change here. Veganism, vegetarianism, pescatarianism, you don't even have to go that far, but there needs to be a shift in your diet. Heavenly signs are showing you, and like I said, you may be getting some um, spiritual downloads in terms of maybe helping others. Also, you could be concerned about making a move or allowing a move. Um, you may be wanting to make that move or make that gesture to someone you want them to offer you forgiveness um, as you offer maybe an apology. This person may be maintaining their distance in terms of they may have changed. The dynamic of the relationship has all has, you know, been changed here. Um, someone feels differently or someone has exited the relationship or someone's entered. Could be third party. Could be that someone feels differently um, because of you fill in the blank. There's a need for forgiveness, so maybe something happened. Um, very interesting. You may be prompted to reach out to someone, like I said at the beginning, or someone's being prompted to reach out to you, but there's also an air of hesitation. The advice for you is to not be so foolish or take the dive, take the risk. Only you know which end you lie on, you know, either taking the risk um, or um not being so foolish could be dealing with an Aquarius could be dealing with um, cancer uh, Aquarius coming up again um, Aquarius also Aquarius in love so you got an Aquarius that you're in love with or they're in love with you it's gonna be them okay so um let's get some relationship cards here and see what the, what's going on. And then we'll close out the reading. Um, I'm healing from my upbringing. So um, maybe that's what some of you are doing uh, in terms of maybe trying to make better decisions. Someone is saying you broke my heart. We, could, we see that here with forgiveness and maybe someone wanting to return and offer apology. Someone is saying I need more money. Okay. Um, I guess before they make any decision, all right? So, um, really good week, uh, Pisces, or really kind of emotional week. Uh, if you feel like you need your own personal reading, the link to the website is below. Also, you can text a question or two or three to the number below. Pay for your question or questions on your mobile device. Receive the answer to your question on your mobile device. Take advantage of that. Thank you. Take care. Many blessings to you.